All right, in this uh, little mini lecture, I'm going to talk about water as a leaving group. So there's another mini lecture on OH as a leaving group. Hydroxide is not a leaving group in an E2, SN2, SN1, E1 reaction. So you'll never have OH simply leave. Uh, but water is an excellent leaving group. So how does that make any sense? Hydroxide's a poor leaving group. Water is an excellent leaving group. And again, the weaker the base, the better the leaving group. Okay? So hydroxide's a strong base. If hydroxide leaves, you're making a strong base. Treat it like an acid-base reaction. You don't want to make strong bases and acids in acid-base reactions. So this is just a Lewis acid-base reaction. If the reaction makes a strong base, it's probably not going to go forward. So in the top reaction, it's a nucleophilic substitution. It's a tertiary carbon, so no SN2. That means it has to be an SN1 if it's a substitution reaction. So what would have to happen here is hydroxide would have to leave. We would go through a tertiary carbocation, and then the negative chloride would attack, go to the products. And you would make sodium hydroxide. All right. So you're going from you're you're going from sodium chloride, pretty stable, uh, you know, nice and neutral. T butanol is nice and neutral, and you're making a strong base. Therefore, it's a poor leaving group. Okay. So this top reaction, if you see an X over the reaction arrow, this means the reaction doesn't go forward. So uh, that basically. Uh, Basically, this reaction doesn't happen. If you if you take t-butanol and you stir it in a solution of sodium chloride, nothing happens. Okay, so I'm going to erase that. Write this down if you need to, and I'll talk about the bottom reaction. So there's a tutorial, little mini lecture uh, that I uploaded, where you can turn an alcohol into uh, a chloride or a bromide or tosylate, uh, and you can't do that with a tertiary. Uh, carbon. So the way we could, but you can do that by turning this into water. And so if you treat an alcohol with an acid, you can protonate that alcohol. This is just an acid base reaction. If I protonate the OH, I get an OH2. This is just water bonded to a carbon. Water bonded to a carbon, uh, the water then becomes a good leaving group because it's a fairly weak base. Get a tertiary, get a T butyl cation plus water, plus chloride. And now this can do either E1 or SN1. The chloride can come in and attack that carbon and get our product. All right, that was one of the products that we had. Or do an elimination. So water can grab the proton and make a pi bond, get an alkene, and H3O+. How do you know which one happens? Clearly, this is favored at higher temperatures. And the chloride, the substitution at lower temperatures. So this is called, another word for this is acid catalyzed dehydration. How about I spell right? So if you want to read more about this, take a look in the book. Look up acid catalyzed dehydration of alcohol. 